Hi, thanks for checking out another one of our videos here. This is going to be a how to test and repair video on a Gallagher M800, the old style. Um, these are such a such a good old school, you know, I love these things. I love working on them because they're fun and they're just they're just tanks. They just run and run and run forever. Uh, not really much bothers them except for lightning and age. That seems to be the only thing that really messes with them. I mean, dead short of really hurt them if you leave it on there too long, but uh, they'll they'll fight through a lot of uh, stress and stuff. And they're just old school units. I love working on these old Gallagher's. So if you got a unit, want to send us to us uh, for repair? Uh, send it on in here. We have free quotes. Working all everything, all brands, ages, styles, you know, all that fun stuff. So let's get into this thing. The note on it says um, not working. So that narrows it down. So um, let's go ahead and this has got that funny screw in the front. I mean, I've got this tool to, I got the tool to take it off with. It's a weird looking thing there, but there's ways of getting that off even without it. When I've missed places, I've done a few little tricks to getting it off there. It's just a tamper proof, I don't know what kind of screw it is, but it's a tamper proof type thing to keep you from mucking around with it when they don't need to. So if you got one of these, I mean, you're welcome to tinker on it yourself, but you know, if you haven't messed around with them too much, you know, it might be something that you just want to ship here, let us do for you. Now I can tell someone's been in here at one time because the spade connector down there has been replaced. It's not metal. It's a blue plastic, you know, with our insulated one. Um, it's got the original board. Because the, the serial number on this unit sticker right there 03244 that's a 2003 unit that's when this was built it's got a 2003 sticker on the board right there see it zero three two whatever it says so it's a 2003 board there but this has been replaced with two zero one uh, one six oh two five this is a 2016 output board so i would guess that the majority of this is probably original uh, that's the original capacitor. I can I know that for certain because uh, the style and the color transformer probably original because it's got a bunch of rust down right there on those metal lamination plates. So imagine it's been there sitting there for a while. Rust doesn't come overnight. It takes a little while for it to show up. So um, let's plug it in real quick. I, I usually test things, certain things before I plug them in, but. Uh, who knows? Let's just plug it in because I get a lot of these in for a pair. These are good old school units, and it doesn't do diddly squat. Now it does have a fuse right down here, so it could be the fuse. But let's check the power in first. The AC power comes in. There's five tabs down here. The first two is the AC input, so we'll go right there, and it should be 120 volts right there. Okay, so fuse is fine. So fuse isn't our issue. So if it doesn't come on at all, usually the board's got a problem. We'll check the capacitor too, just to see, make sure how it's doing. So there's, you know, got some age on it. Uh, that's a 40 microfarad. So we're gonna go across there, the two points there. It should be 40, and it's reading 41. Let's um, pull that board out first. Make sure we're not getting any interference. 38.1. So the that's pretty darn close to 40. I mean, two microfarads is not going to make or break anything. You might get 0.2 joule less of energy, you know, sort of thing. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. So our issue at the moment is with this board. Now, Gallagher themselves do not make this board new any longer. They discontinue it sometime either this year, 2021, or last year, 2020. But these are old school. Everything on there can be replaced on there if you know what you're doing. You know, you can get SCRs, you find diodes, you find these little MOV capacitor, you know, varistors, uh, capacitors. You can't get this style any longer. They don't make these anymore. But there's other capacitors out there that will, that they're square, rectangular, square type shape, and a little bit wider, but they will fit on this board. You have to drill holes and jumper wires to the solder joints where they need to go. But I've done it a dozen times. These capacitors don't go bad that often unless they get really old and wore out. So the problem is in this capacitor at the moment because the little green light right here did not come on. So it's not powering up. So the first thing I want to check 
Ooh, be alive. Does it do a, I usually do a visual inspection. And usually this will blow sometimes as a MOV. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're orange, yellow looking like this one. I've seen them black, red, different colors. <clears throat> They're, um, if, if, these, if this looks good, then it is good. If it's bad, it'll be burnt black either right on top or the whole thing will just be burnt black looking. So that looks good. So it is good. So the next thing we're going to do is check this little component here. It should be zero and it's reading open. So that little piece there is bad. So we're going to desolder and pull it off first. So let's... Um, solder iron on and then we'll get um oh man 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 where's my solder at a little bit of wire i was looking for yesterday my desolder i mean here's my desolder stuff all right we're gonna So we're going to desolder this item here. And then we're going to pull that metal tab off, peel this thing off. Catch it, and then I'm um, get another one. Galgo always recommend to space them out a little bit. It gives it more surface area for this thing to breathe a little bit. So I always recommend to widen it out and then bend it straight down to go into its little holes. There's no polarity to it, so it doesn't matter which lead goes where and then we'll take this little clip slip over the top and bottom to hold that hold it to that resistor mm. all right so it should be nice and snug on there which it is so now we'll solder up all right. Snip those off. All right. One thing I do see is this whole see how these are all brass looking these these two and these two and this one's all dark it's all tarnished and corroded i don't know if water got in here or what you see all this crap on here so i don't know if water got in this thing or what or maybe this wire right here being replaced maybe it was arcing real bad let's pull that wire off real quick just look at that tab there Might even have to replace the transformer. Maybe not. It, it cleaned up pretty good. Let me spray some contact cleaner on there. pop this wire off here and we're going to probably go ahead and replace that let's um, pop this I gotta pop this strap off here Let's 
is all tarnished up. So we'll replace that wire. Go ahead and put a, a new one on. Let's make our own. And I'll clean that up some before we put the wire on there. I don't know if that issue right there caused that piece to blow or not, but I'm sure it's something's going on there. All right, where's my Dremel? Um, get this capacitor strapped back down. I'm going to take this black wire here and then we're going to plug it on here and then it needs to go right about here. So we're going to put this back on here. It's kind of loose. You can see it's pulled right off, so we'll tighten that up a little bit. thing real quick that sleeve there where it plugged onto that tab So let's, uh, we'll go ahead and plug it in, see what happens. Power switch on. Now what should happen, if everything goes according to plan, this light should come on and glow green. And this light should click or flash with every click. Ta-da. All right, let's do a voltage check here. Should be about uh, 7,000 or so. This is a little over seven. Now I'm going to switch this cord over to a different outlet and I'm going to do a ground fault test. So I'm going to hook it to the ground side 
and if and the hot side if everything is fine with the transformer when I touch it to here or here it should still flash and it should still click and or should still flash and click like normal if it gets really loud and that red light stops flashing then we've got an internal short in the transformer so here we go And it's instantaneous. As soon as you touch it, boom, it's, it keeps clicking. It gets a little bit louder, and that red light goes out. And it's not. It's just still working. So the transformer's fine. And so you kind of spark this thing a jump. Let's take this uh, leftover wire from that that we cut out that we got rid of earlier. We'll use that as our spark jump. And we'll go from the ground side to the hot side. Still a nice hot shock. So this unit's done. I mean, there's nothing else really to check in it. We checked everything else out, and it's it's ready to go. So we're going to put this back together. Um, probably let pump this side with a load on it, do a load load test, let it run for a 24-hour period, but uh, with a load on it. But typically on these Gallagher's, if you run them and, and they're testing good and you do all your normal, you know, normal tests I just did it's good to go Gallagher doesn't have any intermittent issues with their stuff usually if they're good they're good the bad they've got a problem you know they just they're not really intermittent like that so if you got one of these old school Gallagher units um, Gallagher didn't fix them anymore but we'll fix them here so if you got one send on in here we'll uh be happy to take a look at it for you. So if you've got any other brands or models you want to send our way, send it on in here. We'll talk to you later on. Bye-bye.